Hello and welcome to the QA Underground. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to create a Selenium page object model using Python and unit tests. Before we get started, we'll go over the setup. Today, we will create a new test project. We will then install the dependencies, then create the test and page object directories, followed by creating the base test script, then creating a home page class, which is our page objects, and then finally, we'll update the test script with the home page objects. So the first thing I did was create a new project within PyCharm using Python 3.7. My project name is Selenium Palm Object. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new directory. And I'm going to name this directory Tests. After that, I'm going to create another directory called Page Objects. So now under the test directory, I'm going to create a new file called Search Tests. All right, first thing we need to do is we need to add our Selenium dependency. So we're going to do from Selenium import web driver. Next, we want to add our dependency for handling our web driver, and that will be the Chrome driver manager. To do that, we're going to do from web driver underscore manager dot Chrome import Chrome driver manager. And finally, we'll be using unit tests to run these tests. So we're going to import unit test. So now we're going to create our class. We're going to call our class Google search. And then we're going to pass in unit test dot test case. So before we move any further, we actually need to install some of our dependencies so we can get rid of some of these errors. The first thing we're going to install is we will install Selenium. So we'll do pip install Selenium equals equals, and then I'm going to give a version number. So the version number is 3.141.0. Install that. The second thing I want to install is the web driver manager. To do that, I will do pip install web driver underscore manager. And now our error should be gone. Perfect. All right, moving on, we're going to start off by creating our setup block. First thing we'll set up is our driver. So we'll do self dot driver equals web driver dot Chrome. And then we're going to actually pass in our Chrome driver manager. And what that's going to do is actually download and install the Chrome driver that we need that will fit our Chrome instance. Next, we'll do Chrome driver dot implicitly underscore wait. And I'll pass in 30 for 30 seconds. And finally, I'll do self dot base underscore URL and then pass in our base URL. For this example, we're going to use google.com. So we'll do HTTPS www.google.com. Now we're going to start creating our actual test definition. I'm going to call mine test underscore Google underscore search. The first thing I want to set up is driver equals self dot driver. Then I want to set up driver.get and then I'm going to pass in our base URL from above so that we can go directly to google.com. So at this point, we've gone as far as we can without the page objects. So before we move on, I want to make sure that I create our teardown definition. So I'm going to do def teardown. And then inside the teardown block, I want to call self.driver.quit. And then finally at the bottom, I want to do if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals equals and quotes underscore underscore main underscore underscore. And then simply pass in unit test dot main. So now that that's done, we can take a break from search test dot py for a moment and start to focus on the page objects. To do that, we will create a new file within the page objects directory called homepage.py. 
At the top, we're going to add a dependency for the keys. So we're going to use from selenium.webdriver.common.keys and then import keys. Then we can create our homepage class. So we'll do class homepage. And the first thing we want to do is to define our driver. So we'll do underscore, underscore, init, underscore, underscore, and then we will define our driver by self.driver equals driver. So now we can start creating our page object. So the first one I'm going to create is enter underscore search underscore text. And then I'm going to create a search text variable that we'll pass into there. And we'll simply just return self.driver.find underscore element underscore by underscore name. And then simply pass in Q, which is what Google searches search field is. And then send keys and we'll pass in the search text parameter. Now we need a page object that will press the return key for the search field. So we're going to create press underscore return underscore key underscore search underscore field. And then again, we will return self dot driver dot find element by name and then simply pass in Q again dot send keys. And this time, instead of a parameter we're passing, we're going to actually pass in keys dot enter. And with that, we are done with the homepage.py for now. Now we can return back to search test.py and implement those page objects that we just created on the homepage. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually import the homepage. So we're going to do page objects.homepage, import the homepage class. Then down inside of our test block, we're going to make an instance of the home page. So we'll do home page equals home page. And then we want to make sure we pass in our driver so that the home page can use our driver. Next, we're going to simply call the definitions that we created. So we'll do home page dot enter underscore search underscore text. And then we'll pass in a string that we want to search on the Google search page. So for this instance, we'll use QA underground tutorial for beginners. And then finally, we'll do home page dot press the return key search field, which will press the return key. Do a little cleanup, remove that white space. We'll save. And now we can simply just right click select run unit tests and it will launch our Google search test. So today we covered how to create a Selenium page object model using Python and unit tests. Let me know if you like this style of video by hitting the like button down below. And if you are not already a subscriber, please subscribe to our channel now. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you on the next video.